Welcome to Fold 3. This tutorial introduces you to our new search interface. Instead of using this area for your searches, you will now see this new search region. At this point, it's fundamentally the same, with a box for keyword searches and name searches and a link to browse the collections. In the advanced search area, there is now an added sounds like option for first and last names under the keyword search. It may improve your chances at finding someone with a name with different spellings. The big difference is how New Search handles your results. Let's use New Search to look for records for someone named George Anderson. You'll receive more results by placing a full name in the keyword box versus the name boxes. This keyword search brings us over 300,000 matches, plus our first glimpse of the New Search results page. Next, let's modify the search and enter George as the first name and Anderson as the last name to receive a more manageable 24,000 plus results. Now we can use the unique filters on this page to narrow our search to the time period, location, collection, or document set we're most interested in. The category column shows how many documents can be found in each collection. For example, there are over 2,500 documents in the Revolutionary War collection for men named George Anderson, over 7,000 in the Civil War collection, nearly 3,000 in World War II, and so on. We'll check some of these boxes in a moment. The timeline section in the middle column indicates the range of years covered by our matches. Since we're still looking at all categories, this is a very broad time period. It will narrow when we start filtering our results. The location section shows in which states matches occur. Darker states have more matches. You can also choose from the text list or type in the state of your choice. Down below is the result type. You can limit your search to documents, memorial pages, or both. And, of course, the third column brings all our matches into a scrollable list with thumbnail images and where our search name matches up within the record. When you click on the arrow next to a category, you can view all the titles within that collection. Anywhere you see an arrow means more titles are included within it. We want to locate a pension file for George Anderson's widow in Kentucky. Either click the state's text link or its image on the map. We receive 86 matches within 10 file results. This pension file here is the one we're interested in. We can go immediately to the files by clicking on the thumbnail, but we want to review the files first, so let's click this arrow. We are now given a mini version of the Fold3 image viewer, where we can choose a particular page to view or scroll through the film strip to look at other pages. When we locate the page we're interested in, we can manipulate the image to view more on that page. Click this View Larger button to go beyond the preview and check out the entire file in Fold3's image viewer. Now let's return to our results and modify our search. We can delete Kentucky here, uncheck the box for Civil War widow's pensions, and then roll the titles under Civil War service records for Union troops. We'll choose Kentucky here. Once our file images appear in the right-hand column, we can scroll down to George Anderson's records in the 39th Kentucky Infantry and view more of his military history in these documents. Just as before, we're presented with the mini viewer and we can navigate through the pages using the film strip. Click on this X up here to return to our search results. Now let's go to the main search page via this link and see if we can locate a man named Peter Johnson in the 1940s by using the timeline filter. Peter Johnson was about 55 years old during World War II, so I want to see if I can locate him in the World War II Old Man's Draft registration cards. We receive 803 matches. Since his birthday was between 1885 and 1890, we can filter to a range of dates by sliding this arrow on the timeline to 1885 and this arrow to 1890, or we can simply type the date into the box and click Update. We can always return to the previous date range by clicking the Reset button. Now we have 260 matches, so let's narrow the filter further to where he was living at the time. All I know is that it was on the West Coast. So I'm going to choose California, Oregon, and Washington and use the new option in this search tool to choose more than one state at a time. Now let's review our results by choosing each match in turn until we find one we think is right, like this one. Now we can view both sides of the draft card and learn that Peter had a broken nose at the time of registration. Note that if you are not yet a Fold3 subscriber, you will see a slightly smaller thumbnail, all the index information, and hit highlights, but you won't be able to zoom or manipulate the image. Now it's your turn to try out new search on Fold3.